visual trace route is a way of sort of seeing how data leaves your computer and where it travels in the world to get to its final destination. Um, I actually used to have networking students do this by doing a command line trace route and actually comparing the IP addresses to a database that would have different locations that were registered, but um, it's so much easier using this tool that pretty much anybody can do this. So the first thing is to go to the website. It is www.ugetsignal.com. And once you're there, uh, which of course I was already there, uh, you'll see all of his different tools. Um, a lot of these are very useful, but Visual Trace Route, the fourth one down, is the one we're looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And what you're going to see is a simple Google map, um, and down here a place where you can put in a remote address. Now, trace, uh, trace route takes a while to work, so I'm going to go ahead and type one in to get us started, um, and we can talk about it as we go. So wikipedia.org uh, is obviously a site you're probably familiar with, um, sort of a, a crowdsourced uh, encyclopedia. And so I'm going to hit proxy trace. Now there are two different options here, host trace or proxy trace. In host trace, you just go from the uget signal server to the remote address. In a proxy trace, you go from your computer, the one that you're actually typing on, to the uget signal server to the remote address. So you still have the uget signal server sort of in between, but you end up with this sort of nice, interesting, um, visualization of how things on the internet are actually connected and how data travels from one path to another. The fact is your data is not going to look like this, right? Because you're connected to a different network. Um, you're going to do it at a different time of day. Traffic might be different. So every time you run this, you may actually get a different result. Now, usually you'll get the same results, but you know, for that particular network you're on. Um, but it's an interesting view to see how things are connected. So for instance, here, we have 18 hops, right? All a hop is, is one machine talking to another machine. So this machine talked to this machine, this machine talked to this machine, this machine talked to this machine. Each of those sort of communications between machines we call a hop. Um, all of these are sort of directing traffic from here in Fresno to eventually the location of Wikipedia, which it turns out is somewhere in Florida. Um, now I can actually click on these flags to sort of see information about geography. So Right here, I'm in Fresno, California, connected to Comcast, and so I'm on the Comcast network. Now, because of that, Comcast, for me at least, sends, tends to send signal from Fresno over here to Missouri. So this is another Comcast server in Independence, Missouri. There must be a very uh, fast connection between these two locations. Most of the searches I do are going to go from Fresno to Independence, Missouri. Now from there, there's a bunch of hops that you know we may not be able to see information at. Uh, I guess all of them are basically the same information, uh, kind of going all the way up to hop 17. So in other words, from Comcast, signal went to Colorado, uh, to Inglewood, Colorado specifically, and we can kind of drill in to see where that is. Apparently it's somewhere just south of Denver. Now we don't know where in Inglewood. Uh, we just know that it's kind of somewhere in that area. Um, and that's where the UGET signal server is located. I just happen to know that from past searches. So it bounces around between a lot of machines here in Colorado. Um, and then from there, eventually leaves Colorado and goes to a Wikimedia server, which is where Wikipedia is located, in St. Petersburg, Florida. You can kind of go in, oh, hey, we know where that is. It's near Tampa. Um, and so you can sort of get a sense of how things are connected, where stuff is located. I mean, did you know that Wikipedia was hosted out of Florida, that that's where those actual machines are located? Probably not. Um, and so you can do it with lots of different, I guess, uh, connections. Now, sometimes you'll do a search and you're going to get unknown information, right? Um, and that's, just because a lot of companies, in fact, more and more companies are sort of hiding the location of their physical servers. Um, there's lots of ways they can do that. And so depending on which you choose, you may not get as clean a search as I did here. Um, but definitely put some stuff in, put in some interesting, you know, international places. Uh, BBC, which is a television station in Britain, .co.uk, that's the actual 
address for uh, the British version of the BBC website. And if I were to hit uh, proxy trace, it will run this. And so we know that we're going to have to go out of our country to get there. Um, we're going to go from Fresno uh, back to Missouri because I'm on Comcast. You'll probably go somewhere different. Um, and then we go to Colorado and we go somewhere into Europe. And eventually we find ourselves in Tadworth. Well, where's Tadworth? Tadworth is just south of London. So anyway, it's an interesting sort of way to see how things are connected. Um, both of these searches have made some sense as far as how Signal got to where it was located, um, but yours may not. You may find that you know just to get to something that's hosted in the Bay Area, you know your Signal may actually go all the way to the East Coast and back, all just based on traffic at the time and where the big connections are, those big fiber optic cables uh, that your ISPs use. It, it may actually be faster to travel a greater distance. Um, in this case, we went to Britain in 21 hops in 5.5 seconds, and we traveled about 8,000 miles um, to get there. So anyway, uh, hopefully you have find this to be a little bit fun. It's an interesting experience just to sort of see the connections in the internet uh, and how everything is sort of laid out. So enjoy You Get Signal, and uh, we'll see you online.